hello and welcome back to my channel dream catcher mira if you are new to this video do check my previous video about the vienna series as each video contains an important and necessary travel tips and information so don't forget to check it out stay tuned and connected and watch this video till the end so that you don't miss out any information and please leave a comment in the comment section below about your opinion how you find this video because it motivates me the most so let's begin so, good morning today is the 30th of the vienna trip and we are ex going to explore the green and the blue line of the hop on hop off and a part of a, the central vienna so i'm all dressed as you can see and let's go in today's video you will get to know about number one nature history museum number two panoramic point of vienna number three danube cruise ride number four Prater amusement park where the world famous giant will the vienna rad is and number five madame tussard museum number six danube tomb following by number seven the fantastic artistic village hundred wasser village designed by Freden's Rise Hundred Wasser. So join me in this journey and let's explore the Dream City Vienna. Natur Historisch Museum Vienna or Natural History Museum has 39 exhibitions rooms and present more than 100,000 objects. If you're traveling with your children, you should visit this museum. This includes precious stones, meteors, displays of dinosaur skeletons, also a display of different ages of mankind. Real life display of birds, reptiles and yes, the entry of this museum is included in Vienna Pass. I wish we had such kind of museums in India. So on the end of the road is a walking pathway. The next is the lane of the beautiful plantations of the trees. Then comes the road where you can take your tiny scooters and cycling. It's basically a cycling uh, pathway. And where I'm walking currently at this place is another pedestrian way. So you can just imagine how broad this uh, pathway is and it's on the both side of the road. Sir. I'm heading towards the bus stop for the Hope and Hopo for the green line. And this will lead me to the, one of the most uh, top points in the city where I can have a beautiful look of the entire city. As I reached the highest point in the Vienna to take the glimpse of the entire city, I witnessed a church ceremony. As the day was quite sunny, I did not enjoy the panoramic view of the city and decided to move further and went back to the city to board the city cruise ride, which is also included in Vienna Pass. From the same point, you can also board a ship for the twin city tour that is Vienna, Bratislava, but that is not included in Vienna Pass. This is the entrance to the restaurant of this ship, which stays over here at the gate to Bratislava. It's 1.45 and the next tour begins at 2.30 and still you can see there's a lot of crowds waiting for the turn to come in the next trip. I finally got into the ship. I'm currently sitting at the deck, in the front deck of the ship and I'm waiting for the ship to start. This ride was almost one and a half hour long. The crew members were really nice and cooperative. 
as we pass the small part of 17 km long Dona River, the tour guide narrated about the history of different buildings along the riverside. After completing the wonderful cruise ride, I went to complete my bucket list, which included a ride in Vienna Rad and the visit to Madame Tussauds Museum in Plata Park. Madame Dussard Museum was in my bucket list. After photographing some of my favorite character, I moved out to enjoy the rides in the park Prata. The train ride inside the park is included in Vienna Pass. So is the single ride of the Vienna Rad, that is the giant ferry wheel ride. Not only for the children, but also for youngsters and adults, this park is a perfect place for fun and amusement. There are some real risky rides, which I would suggest think twice before you set into it. And don't eat before that, otherwise you'll think to vomit. Unless you are afraid of height, you can sit in this because it goes so slow even the tortoise can win the race. Actually, the real purpose of it I think is to have a beautiful overlook of the city. Before you sit in this giant fairy wheel, you can take a round of this historical display of the park where you can see the faces as to how it was when it was first built to the destruction in the world war up till now when it was rebuilt and again open for the local public. It was almost late evening until I reached Danube Tomb. I just entered the Donau Tomb area. This is the reception area. I got my Vienna Pass scanned over there and I got this ticket.
after a long tiring day we are finally ending up into this restaurant taste of india to have our dinner let's see what is he has for the menu After loading my tummy with yummy dinner, I headed back to my Airbnb apartment. I have linked the link in the description below for you guys, which you can use and get the bonus credit. Tomorrow will be the last day to our trip in Wien, and uh, let's see what comes up tomorrow. Okay, then good night. On the last day, I still had one more destination on my list: the Hundertwasser House and the Hundertwasser Village. The house is an apartment house in District Three of Vienna, built between 1983 and 85 after an idea and concept of Austrian artist Friedrich Reichen Hundertwasser, with architect Joseph Carvina as a co-creator. The colorful building draws magical attentions of tourists in Vienna. Within the house, there are 53 apartments, four offices, 16 private terraces, and three communal terraces, and a total of 250 trees and bushes, which makes this house a green oasis in the heart of the city. You cannot visit the house from inside, but enjoy the glamour and the color of the house from outside. Anyone who lives in this house also has the right to decorate the facade around the windows entirely. on their own taste however the hundred wasser village which is open to visitors it was created out of tire workshop in 1990s 1991 the artist created his own shopping center here with a village square a bar numerous stores in the typical hundred wasser style hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video and this beautiful Vienna city I hope you have explored the street and the buildings over here around the city and if you have really liked the video click the hit like button the subscribe and do leave comment how you find the video and if you need think that I need to improve on any kind of parts just let me know in the comment below I will surely improve myself and try to just improvise on all kind of expect that is possible for me Hope you enjoy this, and uh, I'm looking forward to a new city in a new place uh, and with a new atmosphere, exploring the streets uh, and the beautiful buildings of another city. Let's explore the next city together. Till then, ciao, goodbye, and uh, have a nice day.